it never gets old. It's always a new group, Brian. Uh, and we got a great group going. You know, that relay. Uh, great kids. We got a national champion from indoor, uh, Lexi Zeiss. Uh, great group. Never, never gets old. Well, it's always good to have some veterans in the group to kind of lead the show along. Uh, and we got some great leaders in Andy, uh, also M Melanie Rodriguez. Uh, she's back for her final year, final shot at this. So it's pretty neat to, to see those people come up big their senior year. And uh, you have to have that kind of leadership and mentorship, so to speak, uh, for your younger people, especially when you go to a, a national meet where it's, uh, you know, it, it really is important that you have people that have been there, done it. Because it's an experience that's uh, unlike just going to a conference meet, going to California. You know, those are big, big meets, but it's not like the, the national experience. Well, it's always neat to bring as many people as you can in a variety of different events. And this year we got a, you know, a great group from relays to discus throwers, long jumpers, like you said, hurdlers, sprinters. Uh, and I think that just shows what kind of program we have that we could try to cover all of our bases. Well, we hope so. I, I, hopefully we can use that momentum from the men getting third at the conference championship. Not that we're happy with third, but third for the men's program uh, c compared to what we've done uh, in the last few years is, is pretty neat. And uh, it's a tribute to the program uh, or the guys that we had on that program. And really neat that we got two guys because there's been a lot of outdoor championships where we didn't bring a guy. So to have two and especially a guy in the throws. We haven't had a thrower go for quite some time. So that's, that's big. That was a big positive. He says he feels better than he did going into the conference championship. Conference obviously was not a, not a good thing for us. He got to the conference championship and he had had hamstring problems for the previous two weeks going into it. And we knew it wasn't gonna be good, but it turned out really dismal because he couldn't even get through the, the first the event that he was supposed to do the long jump which is kind of his baby not kind of it is so for him to to do that and for our men like I said to get third without him that was uh, really really neat but uh, you know he's feeling a little bit better he's had a couple good workouts yesterday and today so that's a big big positive going into the national championships because he's got to be ready right away on Thursday he jumps on day one trip. first I'm trip excited. first trip so he's really excited and he should be same with Andy you know, this is Andy's a fifth year senior. You know, at one point uh, he was walking around on crutches. He's had several back surgeries. The fact that he's here uh, just throwing uh, an implement around is quite amazing. The fact that he's at the national championship, conference champion, is truly remarkable.